I have a question, Crystal. I grew up not religious at all. My mother and close family members aren't either. Can I still be going through an awakening even though I wasn't living a life close? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Can I still be going through an awakening even though I wasn't living a life close to God? Well, you are marrying the idea of God with religion. <laughs> Can we find God through religion? Yes. There is an echo of God in all religions. And there's a seed of truth and pure energy and, et and eternity, eternal truth in, in religions. But religion, for the most part, tends to obfuscate, meaning it makes it harder to see. It's harder to see because now we got rules. Oh, I got a genuflect. Where's my rosary? I got to go through these rules. I got to talk to this guy, tell him what I did. I got to go up here, be slain. That, all this stuff, oh, rules, Leviticus, tends to obfuscate or make it harder for us to actually connect with the very simple access point of aligning to source energy. So just because you weren't religious doesn't mean you weren't present or source wasn't present in your life. In fact, many times a lack of religious indoctrination or infrastructure is beneficial because you don't have a whole lot of programming that you have to unplug from or get out of the way from because it, it's just an open space where spirit can come in and plant a new garden of understanding and so it's perfect i think it's perfect wherever you are right now however you're feeling right now is perfect god was always there see whether you knew it or not just as God doesn't need you to call God God, God doesn't need us to be in servitude to God. God is. God does not need anything from us. We need to align to the fact that God is. Just because you didn't practice a certain way or operate orienting from the reality that God is doesn't mean that God wasn't. God was. God is. Always and forevermore God will be, Creator will be. So just be here now, be where you are now. It's perfect, it's, it's perfect. And don't need it to be anything. Don't need it to be aligned with a teacher, a book, a system of thought. Stay away from those. Group think, collective understanding of principles, like stay away from that. It's when we're in the wilderness, wandering around, bumping our head on trees and hungry, that we really figure stuff out for ourselves. It's when there's nobody else there telling us what it ought to be, who we really are, and when we can sense our way to it, when we can find our way to the truth, that we're really, really on to something. So don't need it to fit into anything. It's perfect just as it is. You're exactly where you're supposed to be, right when you're supposed to be there. Trust that, because that's the truth.